We're in the village of Long Crendon in Buckinghamshire, who've opened their gardens for the NGS scheme since 1978. There are a variety of gardens in Long Crendon, some large with lakes and views across the open countryside, others are smaller but packed full of a huge variety of flowers, shrubs and trees. My husband and I moved to Baker's Close 38 years ago when we had two very young children. One of the reasons we moved here was because I was enchanted by this garden. I'd been living in London in a little muse house where I would got pots and a south facing balcony and I thought that I was really keen on gardening but I had absolutely no idea what I was taking on when we moved to this very busy two acres. So for the last 30 years, I've been working as a psychotherapist, working largely with couples and with troubled families. And one of the things that was marvellous about having the garden is I think it helped me to sort of process quite stressful feelings that they were managing and had just helped me to sort of find myself and be more able to go back and do the job. As I've got older, I think that the garden has taken on a special meaning for me in the sense that it feels like a connection with those people who've died and are no longer in my life. For example, the waterfall um, in the big pond at the bottom I built with money that was left to me when my father died. And the lady who's sitting overlooking the water is a sculpture that my mother made for me. It's become really one of my favourite parts of the garden. We came to this house over 30 years ago. I went out into the garden and I just thought it was a wonderful space. Uh, it was much bigger than you would expect behind a house, at the top of a housing estate was mainly lawn, had a few narrow borders, a few small trees, but in my head I had this vision of a garden full of colour. I widened all the borders, I gradually over the years got rid of most of the grass and I just started to plant. Carol has really enjoyed getting stuck into the garden. She's become so much happier with being out there and being able to keep creating such a lovely space. We're very much, of course, having to self-isolate at the moment with the COVID-19 situation. Being able to get out in the garden has certainly taken a lot of the stress out of their self-isolation, which we're all having to do at the moment. The garden is my most favourite place to be in the whole world. We go on lots of holidays, but I always like coming back to the garden. It's my solace, it's my uh, peace, my quiet. It's the best place in the world to be. My name's Bryony Rickson and I live here at Lopemead Farm with my husband and two small children. We moved to the farm six years ago when my mother-in-law Ellen sadly passed away. Ellen and her husband John had worked hard on the farm for a number of years before we moved up here and Ed's dad John still works on the farm with him. Ellen had always wanted the area directly outside of the farmhouse to look nicer. She had an idea of how she wanted it to be and was keen to do that. Sadly, she was unable to make that happen. So we developed a plan. We put a bench in place with a plaque saying Ellen's garden because we made the garden with her in mind.
My husband and I moved to Lokemi two and a half years ago and we live here on the farm with our younger daughter, Bryony. My daughter said, you could, this is your small garden that goes with your house. But then of course I realised what a big garden my daughter had and she's busy working a lot of the time with two small children so my involvement with the garden has grown and grown. I like to come into the garden and look at all the beautiful things that we've planted. It's a time to be mindful and a time to think about all the beautiful things that surround us. I like to think Helen would be really pleased with what we've done here. We've put a lot of effort and thought into the planting and we've even planted plants that we knew that she liked. The relationship I have with the garden, and it really is a relationship, is, is probably one of the most important ones that I have. There's a running joke in the family that I spend more money on compost than I do on clothes, and, and I think this is probably true. I mean, if there was some reason that I, that I wasn't able to be in the garden, this would be a, a massive loss for me. I do some work as a psychotherapist or, or counsellor, and the garden is really important for me, in terms of retaining a sense of um, connectedness to myself and being in a good space because I see clients at home. I also sometimes see clients outside in the garden, um, if not in a part of the house where they have a really good view of part of the garden. Because uh, what we know about, about trees and about plants is the effect that that has on our minds is very, very, um, is very healthy, it supports good mental health. We'd always felt very strongly about bees, um, about the need for biodiversity and for all, all insects actually. So one of our neighbours turned up and said, hey, you've got a little bit of land, do you think I could keep some bees on there? And we were absolutely delighted and it certainly is lovely when you see some honeybees and you think, oh, maybe these are, maybe these are my bees. In fact, there are lots of hives around Long Crendon now and um, it's really, really exciting that it's become a village where there's so much, so much bee activity. I spend quite a lot of time just watching the birds in the trees, seeing what insects are around and it's beautiful to sit there throughout the seasons and just watch it change day by day.